Welcome to Crawdaddy's Custom Paint Baits. I did a video on painting this and I said I'd come back and show how I epoxy uh, a jointed bait. Um, I do it a little bit different than a lot of other people. Um, I don't usually do the whole bait at one time. I do half of it, then I come back and let it dry. And once it's dry, I will come back and do the other half. It's just a little easier. I'm using Bob's of you know, Bob Smith epoxy and it hardens pretty quick or it sets up quick, you know, within 30 minutes, you, you better have it done if that long. You can take and add just a little bit of alcohol. I'm just putting like one drop in there that just slows down the cure time a little bit and it helps some of the bubbles to get out. Gives you a little more play time. And like I said, it helps some of the bubbles work itself out of the bait. Just mixing it in good. Sometimes I do the whole bait and sometimes I don't. It all depends on my epoxy, how fast it's setting up. Um, and really the size of the bait. But I'm just going to start here on the bottom and just start working my epoxy. No special way or nothing else. Um, just try to make a good, good coverage on it. Get all the cracks. I was having a lot of issues putting epoxy on when I started using epoxy until I went to this Bob Smith epoxy and I really like it. I have no complaints on it. Gives a nice finish. Easy to work with. I may go ahead and epoxy this whole thing. I think I am. This is not that big of a bait. Just making sure I get nice coverage on it. As I said, by putting the alcohol, just a drop of alcohol in this, just allows you to have a little bit more play time with it. Where you're not in such a big hurry. Just making sure I get a nice even coat.
I don't put these on a turn table or a turn. I used to, but they're just really a pain in the butt trying to get them on a turn wheel. If you put a thin layer of epoxy on it at first, you really don't have to. Um, but all I'm going to do now is put a hook in this. If I don't drop it, and now I'm just going to hang it and let it dry. Once it dries, I'll probably come back and put another coat. And then when it dries, I'll come back and go in between my joints there with a, with a finer brush. But that's all I do. It's, it's pretty simple. I just hang this down and let it dry. You know, it, 30 minutes, I can come back and put another coat on it if I want to. But anyway, that's how I do a, a jointed bait. Sometimes, like I said, I just do half of it let it dry, then I come back, do the other half, let it dry, and, and go that way. But this bait wasn't that big, so uh, it's not that hard to manage. So I just went ahead and did it, the whole bait. And I'm just going to let it dry. And I, if I want to come back and put another coat of epoxy on it after this dries, I will. But anyway, thanks for watching Crawl Daddies. And until next time, we'll be seeing you then.